Hey guys, welcome to another one edit per day video. Today I'm editing Robbie Keen once again. If you want to see the other episodes, just click on the playlist above and you'll see them all. And without further ado, let's get this intro going and the video started. <music> Okay, so I have another one of Robbie Keane um, and I'm going to play with the, the fact that he, he has his head tilted down just ever so slightly. Seems like he's walking away from the pitch uh, for whatever reason. Well, I can tell you why he was walking off the pitch. He just scored a penalty. Someone else was coming to score another one. But in case you don't know, you're just watching someone with a head down walking away. Um, so I'm going to try to focus on that and I'm going to try to keep him in the middle um, and I'm going to use an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 to avoid even more dead space at the top and at the bottom. So that's my starting point. That's my idea for the picture. I want to give it a lot of contrast to focus in on Robbie. Uh, so right now I'm just leveling the horizon looking at the grass on the back. I'm happy with that. And let's go to the uh, lens correction and removing chromatic aberration. Okay, so this should be the starting point most of the times for my edits. Okay, and now I'm going to start working on the contrast and everything else. So I'm going to go quite crazy on the contrast, but then I'm going to reduce it in a different manner. And you'll see what I mean as the edit goes along. Basically, for me, editing is all about playing with the options that you have until you find a happy place. Uh, sometimes you need to go completely crazy to figure out that you've gone too far. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think practice makes perfect. The more you edit pictures, the more you'll find uh, your own style, I would say. Um, and yeah, maybe if you do something so many times, maybe just create a preset and work from there. That's also a, a good idea. Presets don't have to be used just a one added clicking. They can be used as a starting point. And with starting points, then you can adjust uh, slightly less, so to speak. So, okay, so right now I'm going to the clarity. So I always like to zoom in just a little bit to see what I'm doing with the clarity. Um, let's go to 35 or something like that. No, 31 is okay. And that went a little too much. Let me just remove a little texture. Okay. And now, uh, to focus even more on Robbie, I'm going to give it vignetting. And I want to... Should I go heavy? Yeah, maybe I should go heavy. Okay. With strong vignetting, it, it forces you to look inwards to the picture. Okay. But... Now it starts to look like Robbie's a little underexposed. So I'm just going to use uh, the radial filter as such. Just bring it down. Hold on. If you start hearing the fans, it's my computer. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, you can show select and mask overlay to see the area that you're working on. In this case, it's pretty clear what I'm working on. And you need to check which effect you have selected. In this case, I had iris enhanced. I don't want that. I want exposure. Okay. Now, it goes to minus four automatically. I believe it's because of the last one I used. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. You just need to work it until you have the setting that you want. In this case, I'm going to click OK. And I'm pretty happy with that. So basically, I make it look like there's some spot of, uh, some sort of spotlight on Robbie without being way too bright. So the vignetting helps bring in the eyes to the center of the picture, raising the, the exposure locally just on him slightly to bring him up and then working on the contrast and that's how I would end up uh, with this result. Now let's see the before without the cropping obviously and the after now if you want to see it bigger just turn the lights off so 
twice pressing L and to go full screen just press F and wait a little bit and this would be my final edit and now to go back to Lightroom just press F again and that's it if you like this video hit that thumbs up helps a lot if you loved it subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one take it easy guys and stay safe